Hi, this is Joel Hager with Infinite Automation Systems, and I'd like to give you a little demonstration of how we're using the Nano 10 PLC from Triangle Research. Um, this is being used to control a uh, eco home in Fraser, Colorado, and it's, we're using it for a, a wide range of applications in the home. Number one, this home is entirely heated with solar thermal through a 12 zone radiant heating system. It has a pretty complex heating uh, sequence which contains a lot of logic. Um, it also has air handling which moves hot air from certain parts of the house um, to colder parts of the house. It also has de-stratification which is taking um, hot air from high up on the ceilings and pushing it down lower. It has humidifiers, um, there's bath fans, and it also has a nighttime cooling feature that brings in cool air during the night in the summertime to cool the house. All of the logic to control all of this is contained in the Nano 10 PLC and it is virtually doing everything in the house. The way we're using the Nano 10 is actually all of our um, sensors and output devices are all on a slave network. It's on an RS-485 uh, Modbus loop, which is about 800 feet long. We have um, 10 thermostats, which are um, throughout the house, in the bedrooms and living rooms and different areas. And then we also have four um, input-output devices, which are uh, located in several different mechanical rooms. And um, the thermostats have things like um, temperature sensors. They're sensing the slab temperature, air temperature, ceiling temperatures, um, water temperatures of different storage tanks. The output devices are controlling um, the hot water circulation pumps, the zone valves, um, fans, dampers, humidistats, humidifiers, and ventilation. So the Nano 10 collects all of the data from this network. It goes through its logic sequence, and then it turns all the appropriate things on or off depending on what needs to be done. So as a standalone system, the Nano 10 handles all of this all by itself. To add a more advanced user interface, there's a few things that we can do. And here, the Nano 10 is also connected into um, the router in the house. And the Nano has its own built-in web server. Um, but we've also developed an add-on product that works perfectly with the Nano and other PLCs, which is called the Eco Dashboard. And the Eco Dashboard is a, a small server which also plugs into the router and is configured to communicate directly to the Nano 10, and they share information back and forth. And the Eco Dashboard then <clears throat> gives you a very powerful web interface where you can view live graphics um, or what are going on in the mechanical room, live temperatures, you can change all of the set points um, and there's a whole host of features that you can do with this. Um, to see all the features of the Eco Dashboard you can go to infiniteautomation.com and look at some of the videos describing how that works including one video that describes exactly and shows you how you configure the dashboard to connect with the Nano 10. It's really really easy. So if you want more information on either of these products, you can go to www.try-plc.com or infiniteautomation.com. And if you have any questions, my name is Joel Hager with Infinite Automation, and I'd be happy to talk to you. Thanks.